um, next recording should continue. <laughs> that was a mistake. So I see. Thank you. Dixon, thank you so much for joining us from Mombasa. Habari ya Mombasa ni? Dixon is actually our fellow Metis uh, member, Winnie. Eh, mwalimu, oh, mwalimu Karanja, no. karibu sana. So nice to have you here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Michael Dera from Nairobi, Karibu Sana Michael. Yeah, uh, Kasarani. We have someone from Kasarani, Karibu Sana. We have uh, someone from Kiambu, Gadesha. Thanks so much, Gadesha, for joining us from Kiambu. Uh, Barbara from Nairobi, Karibu Sana Sana Sana. Where else are we having guests from? I can see we are about uh, nine people in the chat. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. Okay, so it's time to start. You can see we are even on Facebook Live now. If you followed me on Facebook, Edna Semiti, you should be able to see we are actually now broadcasting uh, live on Facebook. So my name is Edna Semiti, for those who don't know me. And I'm joined by my colleague, Winnie Moravi, who is also a friend. And she's my colleague in a program that we are in together for educators that is called METIS. And before that, we, uh, she was uh, my, the music teacher to my children when they were quite young, and they remember her very fondly. And we decided that we are going to have this conversation right here so that we can unpack the topic of music. So if you read the introduction, you know, we, we say that, you know, do you love music? And you don't know where it can take you. You don't know what kind of careers in the future one can pursue and then come and listen to this because today we want to talk about music as a career winnie has been a music educator for many many years and she'll tell you more about herself and she has seen how music has transformed many young people and even given them hope on my part as the founder of zindua career my main concern is that young people are able to understand how to enter into the career that is most inspiring for their life. So since 2018, I have dedicated my time in uh, providing career education, information, advice, and guidance to school-going children and even young adults who are under 35. I've been very lucky to be able to interact with up to 400 or even more young people just guiding them to understand their best strengths, their best abilities, and uh, in that same process, help them to direct their decision making together with their parents so that they have clarity and confidence. So I do not have any preference for any career. All my preference is that young people are able to identify their best strengths and interests and going into that uh, direction. So it really excites me that today we can sit down in this room and discuss music as a career from someone who is an expert in the area. And I'll give her a chance to discuss more about herself and we will even play you a very nice video of her introduction where she will see how, you know, the dream that she has about the music education that she does for young people. I'm also very pleased to announce to you that both Winnie and I, as founders of our organizations, our different organizations, made a decision to collaborate and uh, to start off something we are calling Music and Career Club. And this Music and Career Club, we are going to initiate it in different schools. We both have a passion for reaching out to young people who are in marginalized societies. And we want them to have the chance to develop the skills that employers want. Winnie wants to use music, and I want to use the knowledge about career education for them to understand. So we are going to be rolling out uh, the program, and maybe towards the end of this session I'll tell you more about that program, because we are seeking the support of many people. Yeah, so the Music and Career Club, so hold that thought. Uh, we still have many people coming in. Winnie, I want to have as many people in the room as possible before I can give you a yes, chance. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, so that they, they don't miss anything. <laughs> so now I want to announce yeah. too. <laughs> but maybe there's something you want to yeah. say. Yeah. So, yeah, Karibu. 
Yeah. Hi, everyone. It's just great to be with all these beautiful people and be able to just have this conversation about music. There's so much mystery that surrounds it. So as my colleague Edna has, has said, I'm Winnie Muravi. I'm the proprietor of Winton House of Music. I've been a music educator and a music performer for many years, over 20 years, probably 25, <laughs> you know, going 26. And my passion, you know, is really um, giving, educating people through music skills, because I believe that when you have a music skill, you, you, you have a, a better future ahead. So I'm really excited to see everybody here. And I can't wait uh, to, to have everyone plugging in, especially those who have at least tried to engage in the interact in the world of music and learn skills themselves. I mean, they should share what, what has been beneficial to them, whether they uh, use music as, as an end career or it has helped them with their other careers that they are pursuing. So I'm excited. Yes. Yes, I'm excited too. And maybe even as we are letting people in, we can, you know, let uh, some people to say hello. If there's anyone yes. in the chat room who'd like to just say hello, maybe say what they're expecting to hear from this session, please, this is your chance. Feel free to yeah. unmute yourself and uh, speak. Speak in the room, feel free. Karibu, anyone? Hi. Hi, Shadrach. I think you're on mute. Hello. Hello, Shadrach. Hello. Karibu. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank oh, you, thank you, thank you. It's John. Karibu, John. John. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you so much. I'm just, expect, I'm just expecting an amazing experience, and uh, it's uh, lovely to meet you, ladies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lovely to meet thank you, too, John. John. Karibu sana. Yeah, you're welcome lovely to meet you and uh, we hope that in this session we can be able to open their eyes i have a feeling most of the people who are in the room are parents uh, of children who are probably in their teenage years and uh, they probably have an interest in music so we hope that uh, we can be able to give you some information that will help you help your child make good decisions parents are very important uh, play a very important role in decision making when it comes to career and uh, different from what we are used to in the past where parents used to make a decision for which careers children should pursue today we really encourage parents to have a conversation around career planning and have enough knowledge to be able to guide your child to the career that will be most inspiring for them because children are different and they have their own dreams and vision so we hope we can use this session to open your eyes if you have a child somebody you care for somebody you take care of that loves music and uh, probably you're not very sure whether this direction can bring any hope in their lives especially because of some of the preconceptions we have about music uh, maybe it's uh, for whatever reasons you know uh, probably you can be able to help you see the value there is when there's um, skills in music when somebody develops their knowledge and their abilities in 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 music there are careers very successful people can pursue very successful careers with skills they gain from music. Sometimes you find children developing an interest in music and if you support them, take them to people like Winnie who will teach them how to play different uh, instruments, explore their abilities in singing and all that, they develop skills in that uh, process which can be used in the workplace and Winnie will be covering that and I hope she even has a few people who can testify that they have been able to use um, the skills that they gained when they were learning music in the current workplace where they are. So hopefully we will cover that. Is there anyone else who would like to say something before we start off? Hi, everyone. Hello. 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 Hi, Pastor Shadra. Hi, hi, how are you? <laughs> fine, so fine, nice Karibu. You. How are you? Away from church. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so glad to be uh, part of this discussion this evening. Uh, well, I'm I'm, I'm I'm yet to learn more, as well as uh, um, 
maybe if there's a chance that I maybe I may share one or two uh, issues that are related to music, maybe if that chance is there, then perhaps we may uh, I may also have uh, something to chip it. But uh, for mm -hmm. now, uh, I'm here courtesy of uh, Winnie Morevi. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Karibu sana. <laughs> Asante. Yeah. Thank you so much. Asante. Oh, okay. Uh, let me let, let me say one more thing. Uh, my name is Pastor Shadrach. Um, uh, I'm pastoring Destiny Chapel in Kisi. Though I am here in Nairobi for some training. That is uh, that is me now. Yes. Yes. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Karibu sana, Pastor Shadrach. Really nice to have you here. And thank you for responding to the call by Uni. Yeah. So <laughs> I have a direct message here. Somebody is asking me, allow me to be quiet. <laughs> All right. Ah, no, I will respect I that. <laughs> in, in, in I will respect that. I wouldn't even say who it is. <laughs> and I know he is a Everyone great singer, must... actually. So... <laughs> So, so I will respect that. I respect that. Okay, okay. so I think okay. we have enough quorum and we can yeah. start, Rini. And as we have been discussing, Rini, you know, music is something that can help uh, in different ways. You know, children can learn how to have self confidence. Uh, I was mm. listening to my son explain to some other children about music, his experience in music, and he said the one thing that really helped him was. Uh, being learning how to multitask because you learn how to read notes as you're playing move you know move your fingers here and there and uh, there is also communication working in projects being responsible and we want you today to help us unpack Winnie you know how how can music help in the future in the world of work if you are talking to parents who are mm -hmm. thinking I have a child who loves uh, music and I really want to support them so that they are building a strong foundation in their life. How can you advise this parent? Let's start with that conversation, Winnie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, I say hello, everyone. And I'm so happy to be here to have this conversation with all of you. Of course, in fact, one thing I will just tell you up front, you cannot preempt it preempt the role of music in the world. You really cannot. In fact, if you are to go step by step and actually discuss every goodness that music brings into someone's life, especially in the workspace in future, would spend a whole days on end because everyone has got who has engaged in music, I'm sure they've got Maria different experiences. Would. Yeah, um, they've got different experiences and they will all tell you something that because of their studying of music at some point in their lives, you know, is contributing um, to, their, to their lives at the moment where in their workspaces. But one of the things that I'll tell parents, number one, you know, especially in this era, uh, the 21st century, the, the, the creatives are, are taking the, the creative, the creativity of, of human beings is now being uh, put to task. And the creatives are now actually leading from the front because we are now in the place where we're in a place where we have to create new opportunities, we have to create new jobs. And you can see all over, it's not just even just music, but music is up there. You know, we, we've got people creating job opportunities through other, other art subjects, creative subjects like comedy and all, and they're making it in life. So it's important to see the trend. What I tell parents, especially now, you know, the way you, we learned years ago ourselves, the, the needs have changed in the world. I mean, if you see how people are reacting to, to music and the, the love of music and, and how people are responding to, to just the arts, then it means that we have got to take the art seriously and music is one of the arts. So um, involving your children as a parent in learning a skill like music will give them so many benefits because one of the things about learning music is that you can't do it in one day. It's a continuous process, it's a lifelong process, but as you, as you graduate, you know, you, you get into new, higher spaces. So by the time a, ch a young child, if you start a child early to learn music, for example, at the age of four, by the time they're getting into, into college and they're about 17, 18, you know, they've got so many skills 
that they've gotten from music making that will help them first achieve better in the university, even in the line that they've chosen to do as careers. And then on top of that, as they go to the workplaces, they'll realize, oh my goodness, some of the attributes that they learned through uh, music learning, for example, perseverance, uh, because in, in music making, you have to persevere. You have to persevere because you can't learn how to play an instrument in one day. And, and so it takes lots of hours, it takes lots of discipline just to get there. So when you go to a, the world of work, for example, and you have a new job, you know, you, you have to, to be perseverant. You have to know that you're not gonna learn everything in one day. And then you will use that, those skills that you gained in music to be able to get through your, your work. Then uh, another, uh, another thing, uh, music making generally, turns you into, it makes you a happier person. You're more joyful. You know how to interact with others because a lot of times uh, for you to succeed in music making, for example, if you are in the choir, you are a singer and you've, you are in the band, for example, uh, having to collaborate with other uh, people in the, in the same space, you, you learn how to, you're a better team player at work. You see, so in the world of work, then you realize that you are able to work with other people in a very uh, cohesive way and and be able to, to be effective at work. Another thing is thinking on your feet. Uh, a lot of times when we have to make, create music or learn or perform, even you have to go on stage and perform. Sometimes some things just come spontaneously. You, you, know, you, you might end up having to create something on the spot. Uh, it happens once in a while. If let's say you're a singer, you forget your words, you've got to create some words to fill in the gap. And, and someone, you know, is people, many people will not even know that you did that. So you learn how to solve problems on your feet every day. You learn to solve problems on your feet. This is a skill actually, actually learn through uh, through learning music. Um, so many things. Another thing, uh, confidence. Because if you're not a confident individual, how do you even uh, present yourself for an interview? For example, you know you want to uh, you're looking for a job. Yeah, you're living. Hi, is everyone listening? Can you all hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Carry on. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. yes we can. And then hello. Ah, uh, hi, Edna. You had left hello? for a while. Hi, can you hear? I left, and then I didn't leave. I was kicked out. <laughs> Uh, you were kicked out, out okay. Of I don't know if everyone network issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's network issues. Yeah. But I hope everyone can yeah. hear me. Yeah. We were just talking about, you know, some of the why parents should sign up their children uh for to learn music for mm. the future, isn't it? Yeah, and now I was at the point where I was yes. saying, you know, music learning mm -hmm. uh, creates builds conf confident confident individuals. You see, when, when you're a confident individual, you can express yourself and you can pitch for yourself, especially in the, in, the, in the world of work. You can imagine if your child has been learning how to play an instrument at the age of four, by the time they're 18 and they're going to the world of work, or even if it's college, uh, you know, they, they're able to present uh, their findings, they're, they're able to pitch to get a job because they're confident. You know, they, they, have the, they, they have the language, they know how to plan their, um, their, their presentation because that's what music teaches you. Actually, when you learn a skill and let's say you're going to get to the point where you have been learning an instrument for a while, every time you have to go and, and, uh, and perform because the performance is an end result of, what you, of learning a skill. You see, you've got to be able to, to present a program to people that is convincing. You have to tell them what you're performing you know, by who, so you learn how to 
present yourself to people in a way that they can understand you and be able to to tell to give them reason why they listen to you because music making is so beautiful when you're playing that violin so beautifully that piano with so much confidence you know it endears you to to people so you can imagine if you have that confidence because it builds that when people love uh, your skill then you are able also to present yourself in the workplace with that confidence then where you you cannot actually fail an interview <laughs> let's just put it that way so there are so many other things that music can help you with. There is, there is the aspect of being a, a learner for life. That is something that, that, that learning a skill in music teaches you. That you can never, number one, you can never know everything. Every day, as a, as a music education, a, educator, most times when I, go into, when I go to class, the first thing I tell my students, even the smallest, a three-year-old in my class, I say, hi, so-and-so, how are you doing? And then I tell them, the next sentence I tell them is, I cannot wait yeah. to learn something. I cannot wait to learn something from you today. You see, because, and that's the thing, because the perspective of everyone's perspective in, in, in music making mm. is different. You see, even a three-year-old can give you a different perspective from your own. I have learned some of the, of the concepts I've learned about teaching music effectively. Actually, it's not some. All of them <laughs> I, I have learned from my student through my students you know you will teach something then the student iterates in a very different mm -hmm. way i'm like i never even thought of that like it's so exciting so for me in fact one of the things that makes me favor the classroom more than even being on stage as a musician is because i can't wait to learn new things from my students you see so you are a learner for life they give you different perspectives and surely what what workplace does not need different perspectives i mean when you're solving problems sometimes a problem comes it's not written in a book how you're going to solve it you see yeah and 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 the, yeah and then the workplace is the one i mean in your workplace is when now you practice that creativity of problem solving yeah so those are just a few points and i would really like to open the floor to any other person who has engaged in music and and they would want to add to that because they have seen Hello. what how they have gained or maybe interacted with people yeah, Hello? Edna, you're back. <laughs> I can <laughs> hear you. <laughs> okay, wow. I don't, I don't, you know, I've just, I've been going in and out of the Zoom room and I really don't want to interrupt the conversation. Um, yeah. What I wonder is, I don't know whether Winnie, you can just give us some insight. Obviously, you've worked a lot with many young people and yeah. you, maybe some of them have actually ended up uh, in the world of work, you know, at the workplace. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can give us some insight. Uh, some of them, the young people that you've worked with, they've learned music, they've grown from one, they've done one test to the next. Um, and yeah. after they finished their basic education, did they, be, did they pursue a career in music or did they pursue different other careers? What is your experience then? Okay, my, my experience, number one, I will say more and more uh, people, young people who are uh, doing learning music just for the sake of getting a skill at that time. As they grow older, they are getting more convinced to pursue it as a career. So that's what I will say. Over my over 20 years of teaching, I'm seeing more and more young people actually wanting to do music as a career because they, they see, you know, because the growth, the experience over time is so, is so amazing to them you know you get these kids some of them could not many many prop things you know some of them mm -hmm. were not able as i say were not confident individuals but because yeah. of you know keeping on learning skills and getting to that uh, uh, performance stage you know and mm -hmm. they feel good about themselves they become more and more confident so they think this is good for me and even just yeah. that feeling good and being happier and 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 mm -hmm. better mental mm -hmm. wellness they are convinced to take music as careers so some of them didn't know and i get a lot of parents who actually come eventually and tell me oh my goodness i have one mm -hmm. student in in point mm -hmm. who came to me uh, some years ago and 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 i didn't even know she was going to pursue music you know because mm -hmm. a lot of parents especially mm -hmm. in the in the i will say in the private schools and in national schools they mm -hmm. they take their children through music education because yeah. music education stand gives you a, a better chance in getting into the best universities in the world can you imagine that is a known fact oh really you know how is that yes yeah because of the skills you you know because of the skills you gain all the big universe any any university of repute any college of repute will always acknowledge a student who has a musical skill. Mm 
And especially okay. at a certain level, they will know. First and foremost, because like now we usually use grading systems, for example, yeah. it's not the yeah. only way to show progress in music. But a lot of times when students come to learn music for the purpose of placement, even from primary to high school, they, mm -hmm. they, they use that uh, to, to get into high schools on scholarship basis. Many okay. big, big, many big second high schools, second schools, especially private ones and international ones have got actually music scholarships for students basically mm -hmm. where you get a big percentage of school fees because okay. of your of your of, of your musical skills and the higher they are the better so it's a serious competition okay. <laughs> so of course okay. that, so that, that do you find that yeah. do you do you find that trend in um, more maybe in the international schools is that trend within like the uh, the national the national schools the schools that are pursuing probably the 844 system do you find that do you have any experience with students who have pursued, you know, the 844 system and uh, mm. they took music lessons with you seriously? Because mm. I know there are levels mm. in music. You have to do mm. the first mm. exam and the second, and you can do that mm. from any age, from eight years yeah. going forward. So by the time you're done yeah. with like, for example, from four, you can actually yeah. maybe direct a whole band. So I'm, I'm trying to look at, someone who was in the 844 system doing this and yeah. they go to the level where they can actually be, um, they can pursue a, a career in music, but they decide to go for another career. But then yes. they probably have come back to you and give an insight on how some of the skills they learned within the, the time they are learning music help them in their present career, yeah. even if it's not one. Yeah, actually, let me just be, be honest with you. A lot of times, in fact, the trend that is happening currently is that those who did music and they went to pursue other careers, they are actually gravitating towards coming back to music as full time. I'm getting that every mm -hmm. day. I get people, even in their 30s, who went and studied other, they did music, went and studied, you know, to do other careers, but mm -hmm. something about music, there's a fulfillment you get. Mm -hmm. you, there's a high let me use it for, for lack of a better <laughs> i think just that that whole satisfaction in your heart mm -hmm. and there's something that music gives you that nothing else ever gives you that satisfaction yeah. of being able to create something so special that will bless not only yourself but other people and so you find some of these careers you know people get bored <laughs> you know someone has got a good career somewhere maybe as yeah. an accountant but they're thinking i i can't i can't mm -hmm. do this for life honestly so at a at a certain point they just segue yeah. back into music and they come back and start learning again <laughs> so yeah. that they can become now music producers okay. you know, artists playing judge all those things so there's a lot yeah. of that and uh, as far as uh, okay, okay i wanted to compare maybe 844 because you're asking 844 and international of yeah. course i'll be honest the the the, the, the mm. international schools have been a bit ahead in 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 putting in in giving music mm -hmm. its rightful value if i may say so a, a lot of times as i said many parents their first intention is to get their stu their yeah. children having this skill at high level so that they can also be able to to qualify for some of these uh lucrative scholarships I mean, you can imagine if you're going to, yeah. to a school, if you want your kid to go to a school where the school fees is 800,000 a term, <laughs> and, and you get 30% scholarship because of music, you know, you're going to do it. That's a lot of money for the rest of, you know, the four years in high school. And then on top of, mm -hmm. so that's already one reason. In, in 844, we, we, there's the, of course, music also is held in high regard, only that unfortunately, sometimes what happens, the skill levels are not yeah. built very fast. Let's put it that way, because the, the seriousness of it gets, yes. is in high school, in high school. So if you compare the ones, the eight or four students who are doing music in high school and those ones in international uh, uh, schools at the same at the same age level, the ones in international schools are probably at higher skill levels that's the way it is so what that means is that the 844 student when they come out there's a, there's a bit of a struggle because they have to try and catch up especially those ones who want to do music as a career they, they've they've got to do they they've ha they have to come maybe to to a school like quinton just to now to increase their skill level faster so that now they can get into the world of music mm -hmm. like now apply for universities like Berkeley, some of the big universities because those are prerequisites when you go to the, the, the schools like Berkeley, you know there's a certain prerequisite you have to have before you get into into mm. the college so now there's now yeah. there's that but more and more so that's why my emphasis to parents is that let and my emphasis in fact we'll discuss this what i'm actually also doing as a uh, as a fellow in metis i'm trying to propagate for early mm. skill music skill learning all yes. the way from early childhood because it gives 
your, the child an advantage. You see, and I will give my own okay, so, um, an example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's speak to the parent who um, right now yeah. is probably has a child who really loves music and they do not believe yeah. that uh, music has any prospect in the future. Uh, if you were yeah. to give them some guidance, so if you are to support your child so that they appreciate you know, music and probably even build yeah. their skills towards finding a fulfilling career in the future, where should that parent yeah. start? You know, what, what would be the steps they would, the child would need to take so that they end up in a fulfilling career? And Winnie, please feel free to invite anyone you think would be interested to <laughs> add on to some of the points you're putting across because you said yes. you had a number of people who wanted to support you. So feel free to invite yeah, them. Yeah, I, I can see. Uh, and, yes, I can and then see I wanted to ask the <laughs> I wanted to ask the people in the chat if you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat room to you know chat. type out yeah. any questions, and then we will uh, deal with them. So let's go back yeah. to the parent. How would you advise them? Because sometimes parents fear, you know, that if somebody yeah. who loves music, they may just throw away their life, you know, running after a career yeah. that will never help them. What would you say, yeah. you know, what are the steps that happen so that somebody ends up in a successful career uh, in music? Yeah. Okay, number one, in this century, the first thing I urge parents is to please listen to their children and watch them keenly to see what, what gifts they have, the talents that they have. I mean, the, ch the children nowadays, because of, um, of, of technology, they, is, they are exposed, you see. And even that parent, I'll say, the parent must, should educate themselves, find information online, find out what is music, how is music going to, there's every, everywhere in on, online about music education, what it does for your children, find out the schools that emphasize on music education, the colleges and careers about music that they're online. And then now start checking your child and see, this child seems to be, start the child early. The best thing about music, you see first and foremost, when you learn a music skill, you're actually gaining. So that's the thing, I'll assure any parent, your child is gaining. Even those ones who might not show interest in music, a music skill, when they are when they are brought in the right environment, they will show interest, and it will give it will give them a gain, because what music does, it's known, it's all scientific, it's all there online. One of the things is that it opens your brain capacity. You know, you're able to use all uh, aspects of your brain, so that helps you in academics, anything. So there's nothing you know, with the confidence, happier child, there's nothing you're going to lose by having music. So let music be incorporated as part of core curricular. That's what I say. It's not extra. It's part of, of a core curricular activity. I would like parents to invest in, in their children. In their, I do that with my children without expecting them to have to do music, you know, for life. That's not the, the point. But I want them to gain from, from learning music as a skill. So, and then now in, uh, get the information. And I would like to, at this point, to call on Neve. Neve is there. Is, she's one of my students. And now we mm -hmm. have a close relationship because she's now in the industry. She herself has, has studied music for many years. So I'd like her to also contribute to the conversation if she's happy to do so. <laughs> and Hi. say something. Yeah. Hi, I'm Neve. Hi. Neve. Um, hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been doing this since I was, you know, I think eight years old and my, I was, I, I feel very privileged and very lucky to have had parents who absolutely just took me seriously and saw that I had a natural gift to sing and they said, okay, this is what, like, I think that the, the second that we all realized that I could sing there was this kind of energy where like I just completely changed as a as a child I was I was always very scared I was timid I was anxious all the time and I just really didn't enjoy interacting with people and then all of a sudden I had this like spark you know in me to just like do this thing and it was completely I mean I was quite lucky in the sense where it was natural so I didn't really have to try in the beginning it just came to me and it felt like an absolute calling and it was like oh my god this is my you know safe space and I think exactly what mm -hmm. Winnie was saying was like parents kind of taking the time to listen to their kids and invest in what brings them that pure joy because ultimately you can be the most academically gifted and you know all that 
but if you don't have almost like just that 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 thing in your life and it could be anything you know for people it's like sports it's dance it's you know art anything mm -hmm. and for me it was it, it, it was this and that is going to just carry you for the rest of your life and it's going to give you confidence you know and it, and and you get so many skills from um learning a instrument or anything you know like creativity and thinking on the spot and uh, collaboration communication time management attention to detail you know problem solving mm -hmm. even just like mm -hmm. even for me now i mean having gone to e e university and having you know like i now have a degree in in this <laughs> there are times where I'm so stressed with life and everything and just having like being able to sit down play a song or just kind of kind of release it's 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 not only like my passion and what I want to do with my life but it's also just what calms me down and kind of like it can it can it can really help people with like stress as well mm. and I think that's just really also kind of under underlooked in yeah. my opinion but yeah exactly what when he was saying of you know how schools even if you don't go to school to do music having yeah. that on your in your kind of uh skill set is so yeah. impressive especially if you're coming at a higher level um but it just it just makes you a more confident and um empathetic mm -hmm. also person yeah. and i think yeah. the world needs so many more <laughs> empaths you know yeah. um um and i think that's yeah. i just think it's 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 really special and it is i think one of the closest things to magic that you know we have in this world <laughs> and and it sounds so cheesy but i that that's just how i feel and i think investing in that magic in your children is just like the best thing you could do for them because i'm so yeah. so thankful for all of that um but sorry that was a very long answer <laughs> no um, i love that yeah. just, <laughs> thank you Nib. Okay. i don't no even problem. have to add on that <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah thank you yeah. and i'd like to invite just a, just a little, colleague. yeah sorry just a, just a little let me just recap i mean mm -hmm. there's been very nice comments there from niam and i was mm -hmm. writing them down you know she's called uh, Niv. Niv. oh yeah Niv. Niv. It's okay. Niv. thank it's you <laughs> uh, so some of the skills, I think that's a very important point because mm. uh, one of the things we try to encourage parents and even students yeah. as they're thinking about careers is it's about developing the kind of skills that will make you feel like you are your whole person when mm. you're in it. And yeah. if you really put it so nicely that um, when you're playing music or you're doing music, you feel like you are the person and you want to live mm. in your life. Yeah. And and you know the person in you comes out and that's very important because you find mm. you find that joy that person in music. Yeah. And I, apart from that you still develop what we call employability skills. You know, I was you mentioned just going to that. say yeah, so, uh, being so, collaborative, creative mm -hmm. thinking, time management, paying attention to details. And you know what? Those are skills that are needed. Most employers are looking in for any these job. skills in many or in, in any yeah, job. Any job. So yeah. I think I wanted to just highlight that that mm. even even maybe for the parent who will be thinking, let me put my child through music training yeah. so they can develop some skills. Even as they take them through education, maybe in the future there'll be something else. Still, yeah. they'll develop skills that are needed in any other job. So yeah, I wanted to highlight yes. that. No yeah. problem. Yeah. You are um, saying I, something. I, I was. I was sorry. I was just going to say that uh. there's actually a report done by the I think it's the Confederate of British industry and it outlines the seven mm. most um, like sought after skills for any kind of um, job and I have them all written down mm. here but it's basically um, yes. time management teamwork business and mm. customer like awareness mm. problem solving yeah. communication IT skills if you do music mm. you just by default get all of those skills <laughs> and it is i mean i mean there are a couple where like I, like it skills that's a bit different but like still with music like you can like produce songs and you can do so much on the internet and you know how to like per, um, promote like 
your own stuff or a- anyone else's that's all yeah. you know, so important especially now with um technology and how it just keeps you know um expanding um and these are and also just like experiences that just kind of th- Thank like you. they're kind of easy skills that just kind of happen as like a side effect of doing yeah. something that you enjoy and i think yes. it's like a win win <laughs> it's kind of like you didn't really have to try to like think about like oh i have to have certain skills to get a job because you've done all this training yeah. and yeah. you just kind of I think I'm have it innately that. yeah yeah yeah. So that's what I want to say. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Neve. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if yeah, uh, Edna is still there. And I would like. Okay, Edna, are you back? Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. And I see that our time is really running. And I can yeah. see there were some comments in the chat room and yeah. they have disappeared. Oh, they are still here. So yeah. I really wanted to say, to appreciate Nam for the insight that she's given us today. Yeah. And, Please, and yeah. there's some comments here. There's some comments here. Very good points, Lini. And there's a question from John Kihara. Uh, what is the best yeah. technique to train a special needs child? Do you have some insight? Yeah. Have you dealt with children? And maybe for the sake of uh, other people who may not understand special needs, my understanding mm-hmm. of special needs is probably a child who would take a little more attention, would need a little more attention than the regular child to be able to yeah. acquire the knowledge that is needed. Yeah. So it could be because of anything, whether they have uh, special needs in their physical form, or mm-hmm. in their mental capacity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you had experience working with special needs children? And if so, how yeah. have you helped them de- develop their music skills and yeah. the employability skills that we've been talking about? Okay. Uh, first, I want to recognize before I even answer that, because I'd like her to help me out, my colleague, Lola Akwabi. I think she's still in the room. Yeah. She's also so veteran music educator, performer herself, a fantastic pianist based in Dubai, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> hi, Lola, are you there? Can you say hi to everyone? Because I'd love for you to help me answer this question and also give your own personal experiences. Hi, Lola. <laughs> Is she there? <laughs> Can I see her? Yes, I am. Hello, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> Very good to see you. <laughs> that is my sister from another mother. <laughs> Absolutely. It's lovely to see you. I, I think I, I'm giving you the floor right now <laughs> to say something about yourself, you, what you're doing, and yeah, because you're a team player. Oh wow! This uh, I was <laughs> I was hoping not to say anything. <laughs> like <laughs> yes. Um, well, she basically has introduced me by saying, "Yeah, I'm, um, I've been in the scene. We've been together." Um, I have known um, I've known Winnie and been friends with her uh, since the days of Moses. So um, <laughs> <laughs> friends to me, and uh, yeah. appreciate all that she's doing. Um, so mm-hmm. we were colleagues in the same industry. That's what I can say. The only difference is just our geographical location. But yeah, colleagues in the same industry. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to say anything about the special needs? Um, special needs. Special needs is uh, is vast. Special needs is is um, we're talking about. It's really vast. We're talking about dyslexic yes. children. Yes. That's usually the first thing which comes to mind. We're talking about mm-hmm. HD. Uh, we're talking about children who write with the left hand. They're left-handed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not special needs in the real sense of the word, but you have to approach it very carefully because uh, the tendency is to assume that then we have to do our right hand with there. But it's a very different. Um, Especially for them, because the world is designed for right-handed people. Yeah, they really, really do find it hard to function because everywhere you go, no matter how much they try, the world nobody thinks about left-handed. So um, they are forced to think with the opposite side of the brain from what they naturally are, and so their approach to their teaching should also be very sensitive and and um, tolerant and understanding beyond just mm-hmm. thinking about the physical. It's about mm-hmm. how 
it works. Uh, with dyslexics, I would say, um, because they have issues with reading, I think um, it would mostly help them if we approach them orally, mostly. Yeah. Because the reading is, I mean, they're already getting stressed <laughs> in class, <laughs> seeing things opposite. Now, if we add music, it just becomes hieroglyphics to them. And, just, and, and, and so for, for us, we can embrace them and help music be an escape for them so mm. that um, it, it's um, a place which welcomes their difference. Diversity. Pick out and, and make them, you know, do yeah. things differently. And so for them, if we can approach it and, and uh, here again, just ask the parents to understand that reading will reading music is just going to be stressful for them. So we are already, you know, ear training and them developing that skill. Uh, so that's um, Eddie. Do with ADHD, uh, this one again is, is very challenging. It just depends on the child. It depends on the child. Treat, treat it on an individual basis. Um, it's to do with concentration levels, but uh, the wonderful thing is the subject that we teach, we are able to have so many activities to engage them. And so um, it, the, the, um, if we just learn the child, the magic works itself just by having yes. activities. So if, yeah. if, they, if they move somewhere else, then you immediately come up in an activity which engages them rather than forcing them, no, come back to the piano seat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so it's, it's, um, it's, the, the, there are many things we can do, and it's a very vast subject which uh, cannot be summarized in a session, but that's what I would say immediately at the yeah. of my head. Yeah. You work with the with the with the special needs person on an individual basis, and okay. and then you and then and and that's the thing about practicing music as musicians, music educators. We are always thinking on our feet. We have lesson plans to guide us, but we we really are individualized in our teaching. So we work with every individual to make sure that they excel and they learn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know if, if the host is in. Anyone else who wants to contribute? <laughs> I'll take over. <laughs> oh, if, if I may add, um, sorry, yeah. the, your point, um, I'm, talking, I'm taking you back to the point of the parents. Yeah. The parents. Um, the, 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 the parents, most of them, it's, it's, a, it's upon us to educate them. Yeah. yeah. They don't, yeah. they don't, they, 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 they don't, they may appear knowledgeable, but they're not. It really is up to us to educate them. And again, with a lot yes. of sympathy and understanding, um, they, they, they come with, with uh, preconceived notions. Yes. So it's up to us to really just guide them, guide them gently and be with them every step. Yeah. Um, yeah. They also, we also need to inform them that their role is much bigger yeah, they really have to be hands on. Than yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, so beyond yes. just paying for the I'm lesson, the and ensuring that they need to be involved, they need to be 100% yeah. involved. It requires dedication. I don't, I don't I think many times they realize that. Uh, yeah, yeah. and just guide them right yeah. from the word go from the very first lesson so that they know from the word go what they're getting into rather than discovering. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Pastor Shadrach, you wanted to say something? I can see your hand up. Thank you, Lola. Thank you so much. Yeah, those are such valuable insights. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. How are you? Uh, Fine. Good evening. You. Yeah. Good evening. Well, well me, I, what, what, you know, I've been listening to all of us, and uh, there are also things that I've been noting down. If you noticed, I was like uh, taking a few notes here and there. But I want to look at music on a spiritual uh, aspect. You know, one, what we need to understand is that musical, music is a spirit. Yeah. And that is why, uh, that is why you, could, uh, you could hear uh, uh, Nalini, is it, her name is Nalini, right? Neve. Yes. Oh, Neve. 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 Yeah. 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 Yes. You, 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 you could hear she said at some point she was stressed, but uh, when she engaged in music, yeah, yeah. she could get a healing in the process. Now, 
You know, uh, music started in, he in heaven. Yeah. With Lucifer. If you can imagine, uh, it started in heaven with Lucifer and uh, eventually he was thrown down here. So music basically is, is uh, what? Uh, is a spirit. And that is why uh, even in our churches, you might find that when, uh, when, uh, when what? When uh, the, 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 the worship team, right, is, is, uh, is uh, praising, you'll realize that there are some people who will get their healing even without being prayed for by the pastor. They get their healing in the process of the of the of the what of the worship, right? Yeah. So, so basically, music is a very important tool, both in children uh, and and even uh, in, even grown-ups. You cannot wish right. it away. Uh, could you please allow me to uh, regulate this conversation a little bit? Yes. Hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Sorry, I think I've been coming in and out and I don't know what was going on in the room, but I see we are, we are almost coming towards the end of our conversation today. And I wanted to handle some of the questions that are coming in in the chat and to direct the conversation to why we're here. Really, I would like us to probably just contribute towards how to help uh, people identify uh, the direction towards finding a career in music. Uh, there was one question I had for Winnie, which I haven't been able to get to, mostly because I've been kicked in and out, uh, which is um, the kind of employers that are out there that hire and the type of jobs that people can think about. But before we get to that one, sorry, Pastor, to cut you short. I just would like to um, ask this question that is in the chat room. I think there is hope who has said that, what advice would you give someone who began their music journey later in their life and they want to do it professionally? So maybe we could just try and handle that question. And then after that, Winnie, you could tell us what are some of the jobs that people actually end up pursuing in the music world? What okay. job titles can they expect to have? So, Okay. Please. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll try. how many minutes do we have, by the way? How long do we have? <laughs> Edna, are you there? Okay, I'll just go ahead if everyone else can hear me. Uh, Edna, the thing about learning music and changing to a musical career, there's what I will say first and foremost, really there's no age limit. I mean, there are advantages to having start to start early, but the good thing about music, as we've said already, it just embraces anyone at any time. I've had very old people. In fact, I have a friend of mine who unfortunately I can't see here who started her career in music in her forties and she's actually thriving in her fifties. You know, when the children are grown now, they've gone you know, to university. She's practicing her musical skills because it's just how much time yeah, it's just how much time you put into it and uh, the seriousness. So if you decide you're going to take a career in music at whatever point, you have got to be serious. At least it takes, I will say, averagely five to six years to be able to, to get your skill level to a place that you can practice confidently and earn from it. That's what I would say for, for a start. So if you're serious and you're taking lessons, go to a, a proper school. Yeah, and, and, get, and, get, and get so invested. Okay. 
Yeah, it's been a very interesting day. <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, I'll try, where was I? Yeah, so I was saying you can, you can start music at any age, but then be serious about it. Invest in the proper instruments, take lessons in a in a in a good school with a with good a good teacher and probably within four to five years you'll be well established to be able to practice as a, as a professional musician in whatever aspect whether it's playing instruments being in a band being a recording artist yeah so there's no age limit yeah anyone can engage at any time then oh, you are talking about careers so i'll just be quick of course some some of the top ones are in the film industry can you imagine listening to a movie without music? Uh, there's all lots of needs, musical people, I mean, music careers in the film industry that, uh, that need to are plugged in. Um, when teaching in schools, you know, as a, as a, as a music educator, that, that is a career that is well sought after. Literally, in fact, right now, the, the higher your skill level, the more musical skills you have, the better the, the job opportunities. They're all over. And, and in fact, I'm really training a lot of my students to take up, you know, just to be able to think about um, music education as a career because it has a lot of prospects as well. Then as a recording artist, as a performance artist, whether you're a sol solo performer or in a band, like now, uh, Neve, Neve is a performance and recording artist. She's actually a songwriter and one of the things she does actually is to teach people how to write songs you know as a young artist as a young uh, music uh, uh, what can I say professional in the field because she just came out of university so that's what she does and then also as a music producer as an artist manager you know, there's so many, you know, in, in the church ministry, Pastor Shadrach was trying to say that, that sometimes where, where even the pastor, before the, before the pastor gets to the flock, it, it's the music ministry, you know, the worship team that gets there first. And a lot of times there are services where the, we just end up with praise and worship and that's it, the job is done. Yeah, so there are so, so many, so many jobs that you can get. Music therapy, you know, is used more and more to, to help, uh, you know, even, even yeah, people with, uh, with, with who are suffering from old age diseases, you know, as, as therapy. So that, that's one of the areas. And also for special needs as well, you know, music therapy is one of those um, areas that's not really been tapped into. So there are very, very many, yeah. I have actually a couple uh, ideas, if that's okay, if I could put in some. Yes, please, maybe. Yeah. But also, I mean, also in like radio, um, you know, <sighs> that's huge. And like yeah. publishing, editing, um, you know, kind of like management in terms of if you work at a label or, you know, any of those kind of things. Um, but actually also, I think back to my previous point of how, you know, doing this kind of really helps you become a very well rounded person. Some of, in my opinion, um, the most, like, like the best kind of people in their field. So like, you know, I know so many, not so many, but I know quite a few, um, uh, people in the medical field so they're like top you know like right at the top and you know you would expect you know they went to school just to just to become a a a surgeon let's say um and you know they do what like up to 10 years of just you know just doing that but mm. actually i think you know i've met so many of um those people who 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 have had a really deep interest in like art or music and that has been a part of their life where i actually met a surgeon a few years ago who's a friend of my dad's who actually did a music degree then did a mm. poetry degree <laughs> and then mm. went into um doing medicine and now he's like a, a top um you know in in his field and even though he didn't become a musician or a poet, these are things that become like you, you, you become a more well-rounded person. And you're also um, able to kind of connect with your, um, with your patients on like a completely different level. And just, I, I, I just, yeah, that, I don't really know where I was going with that, but I just think it's, uh, <laughs> there, okay. there are always kind of um, advantages to it. Is what I can say. Okay, so that, that's very good insight. You. you guys have named a number of uh, jobs that people can pursue with 
music skills. And I want to assume music skills means learning how to play an instrument or direct uh, music pieces, or how would you define yeah. music skills? Play what are music skills, basically? Yeah, for the, the, the ones, are, yeah. For people who are like <laughs> beginners or, you know, what we sometimes say <laughs> dummies, you know? The, if you are to talk to a yeah. dummy like me, <laughs> what would you say yeah. music skills are? Um, I don't know if I should leave that to the floor uh, and open it to people to say something about that. Um, I was just yeah, I can say. see Jimmy Nyakora there. He's also a colleague. He can speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Good to see you in this platform. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. So some musical skills. Mm -hmm. I think um, 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 performance is one of those skills. When you talk about playing an instrument, musical yeah. performance is one skill just being able yeah. to present in front of people. The other skill is musical composition, where you learn the grammar and logic of how music works. Yeah. So it's like just understanding yeah. the, the, the paragraphs, the sentences, the phrases. So that's another aspect. There is music production. I think Neve has spoken about that. There is mm -hmm. um, also ear training, um, ear training mm -hmm. where you're able to tell apart different notes. There is sight reading where I think it's Winnie who said reading those funny shapes and I don't know whether it's Winnie or Qua, Qua, it's a language. Funny, yeah, it's a language, all right? Uh, then there is also the ability to play with an ensemble or play with different people. And that is a very collaboration. crucial skill. Yes, collaboration is a very crucial skill in this age of working from home and remote connection. So I think part yeah. of the skill that music teaches you is the ability to play with different, I mean, to interact with different uh, temperaments and personalities towards a common goal. So I, I think that's one, those are some of the skills I just mentioned off the top of my head. I don't know whether Winnie, you can add on to yeah. others. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, th I think you've, you've said many of them, the skills. I mean, and for me, if, yeah, especially the people skills, yeah, how to interact with different people of different temperaments. And that's, that music teaches you when you're in a choir, in an ensemble, you're interacting with everybody who has different temperaments, maybe from you, and, and but in that common uh, goal, you're able to produce the most magical moments. You know, so I, I think for me that ultimately is is uh, and, and even for me the skill of empathy just comes right on top. Yeah, I, Wow. Well, I don't know. You know, the internet is really, really acting up. And I realize every time I get kicked out of the room, everyone gets kicked out. And I want to appreciate everyone who's been so patient, just waiting to revert. Um, I don't know where we were. I think we were at, with Jimmy talking about yes. music skills. Yes. yes. He said continue. And then yeah. we probably we'll take one more question and then um, bring the chat to an end yeah jamie yes i, I was saying uh, aside from that there is music directing and music i think uh miss winnie has spoken about uh, music education which is there's also music pedagogy how to teach instrumental uh, or vocal teaching the teaching skills um, you can even venture into musical direction how to direct choirs, how to direct uh, groups even. 
Um, yeah, so the, the musical skills are as varied, I mean, and you can specialize in even musical theories, a specialist skill on its own in musical yeah. harmony analysis. So the, it's even really, conducting. Thank you. Yes, there's conducting. As well. right. So the, the, there's a variety of skills and I believe there's space for everyone, depending on where you fit best with your personality. So you will not miss yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very interesting, yeah. actually, mentioning about personality. I don't know how, what's the connection there, music skills and personalities, how do they match? Because some, some of the things we train young people and we're training them about careers is understand yourself and your personality. Uh, so when it comes to music and choosing which career yeah. in music should I pursue, which, um, I mean, how, where is the match between which personality and which career, uh, music skill? I, th I think there's, um, so there's, there's it, it depends on the kind of brain. There are analytical thinkers. Yeah. The analytical thinkers tend towards yeah. music, uh, analysis of music theory and, uh, and musical yeah. frameworks, right? Yeah, music um, research. Yeah, research yes, activities. Music yeah. research. Thank you very much. Then we have the more, uh, I don't want to call them extroverted, but the more, uh, the, the people who like inter interaction with people as much as possible. This tends towards music education yes. and music performance as well, because it's entertainment. Performance, it's yeah. With people. Entertainment, um, and, and yeah. And music composers would more, more or less likely be uh, uh, almost introverted. No, I'm, and, and I don't want to quantify this, but, but it's just a generalization because then these are people who are able to communicate their feelings and their private yeah. moods. To, to human beings, yeah. So uh, I think the personality is yeah. it is really varied, really varied. I, mm -hmm. I hope Edna may have made some some sense out of that. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Karim. Jimmy. That's very enlightening. Karim, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think really you can carry on. Uh, Edna seems yeah. to have, to yes. have left. Yeah, because even with the, I was just going to add when it comes to personality, it just, you, you know, because sometimes when, when somebody, yeah, when you, when you have, everyone has their own type of personality. And what I want to say is the way a music skill can be, give you the gratification when you can practice out your personality. And then what happens through through an instrument, for example, you'll find somebody who just because they, they've got a more confident personality, as you said, they can be performers, but they can also it can also dictate the choice of instrument. Uh, I know, like my son loves to love sound, you know, just different types of sounds, and then he tends to to go towards percussive sounds. You see, harmonies and percussive sounds. So you see him expressing that through the choice of instruments that he takes and he loves, and that in itself. One of the things that I say about music and especially how it, it brings out your, your skills and your and how it ties with your personality is that what I say, it makes it easier. Music, just engaging in music as a uh, learning music skills in different because through the, your different personality brings your genius to the forefront. So it even helps, let's say, for example, like your parent to even know what, what career you're going to take in the future. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. just engaging, it might not even just be through that music skill, you will even know. You know, the, my child will be like this because that engagement helps the parent, the caregiver to understand the personality of the child. Mm -hmm. And you see now, now this will, will help them in choosing a career even in future. Mm -hmm. So there's so much that you can say about personality and, and how mm. you engage in learning music. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Edna, are you there? <laughs> Is she back? All right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Then Niam, I think she has just uh, added to the point of uh, the type of skills, music skills that are needed. She said arranging skills are highly sought after in the industry. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm here. Can yeah. you hear me? As, yes. Yeah. Like score writing in the film industry. Can you hear score me? Score writing, writing music. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, Edna, I can hear you. Now you can. 
Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Co writing. Mm. Mm. For, yeah, for film. Okay. For filmmaking. I mean, even Score writing, you're saying when I was when I was at uni, we we had a really cool um, yes, orchestra. I hear um, you. And I got the chance. You're talking to about sing. score writing. Yeah. So in terms of like arranging, I was just going to say an example of that is like when I was at uni and we had a orchestra. I had the chance to sing one of my own songs with. Um, a complete orchestra and we had a few people come up with different kind of arrangements for how it should sound and I personally don't have any of that that kind of skill I could I could not do that but it was incredible how a how quickly they could do it but how you can completely transform the kind of energy of a song and the kind of atmosphere of it and uh, make it into like a very full experience. And that is something that is done for like live concerts all the time for like big um, artists um, like every every day. And that's a that's an incredible skill to have. So like you were saying yeah. um, about like, you know, kind of arranging skills and like scores and stuff like that's a that's a huge skill as well. So yeah. yeah th thank you, Niamh. Thank you, Niamh, because even my colleague Jimmy has added there that when you have, um, let's say, you know, it makes also arranging for groups and bands demands an excellent understanding of harmony and theory. And it's quite adventurous, you know, and he also says, you know, he forgot improvisation. Improvisation is the melting pot of those musical skills. Yeah, you know that thinking on your feet, we do it, Niamh, you're there singing a song and you're doing, trying to do a cover of someone's song, even yourself somehow you you end up not doing the same thing twice right have you noticed that like you're singing yeah. your own song <laughs> but you keep on creating something on top of that in fact somebody made me laugh the other day because I was trying to record a song and then now I kept on thinking oh I, I want to add this I want to add this and then somebody said you know if you keep doing that you're, you're like you're writing 10 songs in one <laughs> just finish with one then because we always have the urge to improvise and do and i mean that's a skill set improvisation is a skill set you need in the world of work i mean just capping it there like what type of work does it need to improvise <laughs> you know you always need to improvise on something yeah you go to you go to a birthday party and you forgot the candles <laughs> just that you know <laughs> You have to improvise, yeah. So, so I think there, there's a lot. Let me just check the chats as Edna is coming in because I know we are about to close uh, the meeting, and this has been so, so, so good. I'm so grateful for everyone. I hope, I hope we have learned something from this. You know, I, I hope all these participants who are here. If anyone wants to say something at this point, I think I'll just open the floor because as we wind up, what you have learned, what, yeah, what yeah, other I'm questions back. you? <laughs> You're back, Edna. I was just winding up for you. <laughs> hey, I, when, I think I'd like to add something yeah. you mentioned before um, we close yeah. that um, the, uh, with regards yeah. to age is that so long as you I'm have back. The, um, so long as yeah. you have the desire to <laughs> Thank you so much, Vinny, for stepping in. You know, I actually yes. decided to make you the co-host of the... Hello. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Hello? I know. I saw yeah, that. If, I yeah, that. I thought Edna, we can hear you even. I thought to make you. Jimmy is saying something. Yeah. yeah Jimmy is saying seen something. That. I've seen that, yeah. Edna. So thank you for making me the co-host. I think we are getting on well. Um, yeah. Yes, I was saying that um, Hope asked the question of the of with regard to age, and uh, in 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 the book Mastery by Robert Greene, he mentions that one of the things we need to learn is that it's not about the talent but the ability and the desire i think winnie mentioned mentioned this before and part of that is number one you need to get good teachers number two is your yeah. environment so the kind of environment yeah. and the kind of people when you attend such meetings you learn something and you are motivated and this is what keeps you going this is what keeps you going so you always need to Excellent. occupy the perfect niche to survive i think that's that's okay it thank you Fantastic. And Jimmy, if you don't mind, could you put that in the chat as well? Just I so sure that, will. I sure will. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. And even just later to share with the Edna so that now she can compile all this. I think this is important. Then we can share with the general public. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for your input. Yeah. Okay, Edna, you can take over and maybe close. I don't know. Yeah. Unless anyone else has something to say. Okay. Um. All right. Um, I would really like to bring this to a close because we had said we'll have a we'll have the conversation to eight o'clock, and I can see we are eighteen minutes into eight o'clock. I really would like to appreciate uh, all the conversation, and of course, apologize for all the interruption, the internet interruptions that have taken place. I hope that everybody has got some good insights around where music can take you in the future. Uh, I was hoping to cover on the topic of, um, you know, universities, because if there was somebody out there listening who would be wondering which are the good universities in Kenya where they teach music, what advice would you give them, Winnie? Maybe just quickly. Um, are you here, Winnie? Yeah, uh, there, there are many universities that offer music, even starting in Kenya here. We have we have, we have uh, the, the Kenyatta University, Hello. Maseno University, we have Technical University, there are many universities here. And then on top of Am that, also we've got yes, Edna, we can hear you. I can hear you. I think she's frozen. She doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah, so if yeah, if everyone can hear, I will. I was talking about just locally. We have the like Kenyatta University, um, Maseno University. We have got Technical University and colleges like Winton House of Music <laughs> that offer sound, um, you know, music education. And then of course there are many universities abroad. It depends on where you want to uh, to settle. Them, you know, there's the Berkeley. Uh, Niv, Niv, what university were you in? I went to the Royal Northern College of music which was in manchester in england yeah do you know any others over there that were possibilities because you had applied yeah there was also the leeds college of music there was the yes royal academy the royal um there's a lot of like royal schools and those are kind of seen as the kind yes. of top conservatoire so if schools that's like, yeah and they and they generally do more classical um so if that's yeah. like more of your thing um but i was quite lucky because i also had a pop um program so that's what i did but uh there was and then there's like in, in the states there's berkeley um yeah. nyu i mean i, I mean I, I there's there's a lot of like smaller schools that 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 yeah. have it and they're all incredible i think it i think it just really depends on what you are trying to get out of it and like what kind of environment you want to be in. Yes. Um, I think it's also quite yeah. a hand tip to kind of look into uh, maybe even different performers who have become teachers because a lot of them will end up teaching at um, these schools. Yes. And if you want to get their yeah. kind of like one-to-one yeah. -one experience, that's also a good tip to kind of do your research in that way and like pick a school like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what I did. And there's a lot of information also on the internet. Uh, 
about different things. So long as you understand what what the you are, let's say you as a person you understand what you want. Like you say, if you want to do contemporary music, there are some universities that are big on contemporary music. If you want to do classical music, there are some universities that are big on that. And then also depends on where you are starting from. So you can start from a you know a college level first, build a skill up to a certain level, and then Neva, I know you can agree with that before you even look for for a bigger college or university because they are the prerequisites, isn't it? So you can build uh, your skill level. Like let's say that's why schools like Wheaton House of Music exist, you know, and other schools that teach you the skills and get you to do your grades. So I and that say, is. Yeah. I will say that I got into school because of Winnie. Um, that if that, that if, <laughs> I'm you. not. That is not even like a. Oh, like Thank listen you. to her. It, it's 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 her kind of conference call i'm not joking i got into every school that i applied to because i had her right next to me helping me through all of it and i'm so grateful so if that is of any helpful anyone <laughs> thank you, you away thank anything, you Niamh. she can do it for you trust yeah. me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you for the confidence it just makes me feel yeah I'm, I'm honored yeah to be in that space and i'm glad yeah <laughs> thank you so so much yeah and and i can see jimmy has said some things also here uh the best way to learn something you love teach it <laughs> yeah that's what you're doing me right now i'm so proud of you for coming into the world <laughs> yeah so many insights yeah and and in fact one of the things i'd like to end because just in case edna can't come in and we really need to wind up this meeting we are engaged in an initiative with zindua career to to do music and i think she had introduced it a little bit music and careers education in, in schools, especially schools uh, from low income uh, earning families. Uh, and one of the things that we're trying to do is, is get people to sponsor us in different ways. We, we have a, a school called Milkan uh, Academy uh, in, in, in uh, Kangemi. So we are hoping to do a, a Christmas gala Christmas music and careers gala. So I want to call upon everybody here, even just to be our cheerleaders and and because that's the thing. We are, from this discussion, I hope it's clear that every learner sh surely should be given a chance for a proper music education. And for us who have been privileged, maybe you can agree with me to have that. It will be great to be able to give that to the to the Kenyan child who cannot afford even to pay for their own uh, music education. Uh, in level, live alone even just having an instrument. I I I'm starting. An initiative called uh, a recorder a day <laughs> keeps the learner engaged. <laughs> Don't know if that makes sense, but just you know the small all instrumental recorder, just that in itself uh, for practicing out your musicianship is a great way to start. Yeah, Jimmy, don't laugh at me. You can bring a better one. <laughs> a recorder that keeps the learner engaged. <laughs> yeah, so just appealing to the public to just even donate those who can afford. A recorder is about 500 shillings, 600. You know, if we can have people donating one recorder, you can imagine all the kids in public schools will have recorders and they'll be able to put their music theory into practice, starting with one instrument. Then we can move it from there. Um, uh, and then also to support this Milkan um, uh, Milkan Academy initiative because we have we, we want to uh, help raise school fees for the for those who cannot raise school fees for themselves. We'll we'll put more information on our media spaces in Dua Career at Zindua Career and Winton House of Music. So please look out to see reach us uh, reach out on uh, to us even individually. For me, Winnie Muraidi, uh, I'm on all social media spaces or through Wynton House of Music, W-Y-N-T-O-N, House of Music, and, and say what you want to do and ask for information how you can plug in. Because we want to do a Christmas basket for these families. We want to ha help them to come up with a music program just in six weeks, actually, starting November the 13th. So it's critical that we get the funding that we need and all the help we need so that we can at least realize this in this school and be able to take these projects to other schools as well and teach them also about not just music skills, but how uh, they can they can choose their careers wisely yeah and what they need to know to be able to choose their careers wisely in the future so yeah thank you thank you very very much uh everyone for coming and uh you know for me i breathe i eat i dream music every every single hour of my life and and i couldn't be happier because the the joy i bring for to others the the skills i and i see how they've grown with them Neve is a perfect example of that and many others i just feel that it's it's a world worth engaging in and and spreading the love through music is that just a great gift Neve, you say that it's magical 
<laughs> and it may seem overrated. We keep repeating that because we 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 practice it every day. But I think it's a it's a world that we want to call people to be part of. It, it, you can never go wrong with that. Yeah. So thank you so much, everybody, and thank you for engaging. As I said, you can continue engaging with us through our other spaces anytime. And we hope to have another meeting, probably hoping that we won't have internet issues like this ones today. We'll try to iterate and see how we can do it better. Thank you so much, everyone, and God bless, and have a good night. Thank you for all your contribution. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.